All right, so in this problem, we are factoring this polynomial. Now, the first step into factoring is taking a look at this polynomial and taking out a common factor. So we can take out a common 2, and we are left with x squared minus 1. Now, inside our parentheses, we have something that's called a difference of squares, and that is because we have a difference of two squares. And another example that might be a little bit more obvious is x squared minus 9 because we have x, which is squared, minus 3, which is also squared. So we have a difference of two squares. All right, so now let's go back to our example. We have x squared minus 1, which is also squared, and therefore we have a difference of squares here. And the way that we factor a difference of squares is x plus a and x minus a, which is a very simple way of factoring once you recognize that you have a difference of squares. So our a is going to be this one. So we have x squared minus our a, which is our one squared. So when we factor this, we have two on the outside and we have x plus one and x minus one because our a over here is one. All right, now let's take a look at our answers. We have two answers, C and D, that the coefficient 2 is on the outside. And if we take a look at our answers, we have x plus 1 and x minus 1 in the parentheses. And in both of the answers, there, there isn't the, the terms inside the parentheses do not line up. And therefore, C and D are incorrect. And now let's take a look at the terms, at the options A and B where the coefficient 2 was multipli multiplied into one of the parentheses. Now, if we take a look at option A, it seems like they took this 2 and multiplied it, distributed it into the first parentheses. And then they were left with 2x plus 2 and x minus 1, which is the correct answer. And so if you take a look at option B, even if you distributed this 2 into this parentheses or this parentheses, you would not get this answer. And therefore, B is incorrect, and A will remain our final answer.